All right, so I showed you guys in the other videos just kind of more of uh, the explanation as to why we get what I'm about to show you. Uh, we have one, negative one, four, negative three, dot, 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 dot. And then on the other side, we write the identity matrix. Uh, to form our doubly augmented matrix. I think that's such a funny word, doubly augmented matrix. That's what our that's what our book calls it. And what what our job is we're gonna do is is what we're gonna do is a, a series of operations to make this side the identity matrix. And then these numbers right over here, those numbers are just along for the ride. And whenever we get over here after this is the identity matrix um, or in reduced row echelon form, uh, that's gonna be uh, over here, that's going to be our inverse matrix. All right, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this top row, add it to my second row, because uh, this is already a one. I don't have to worry about that. But the next thing I'm concerned about is making this a zero. So if I add this top row to the bottom row, then that this one will become a zero. So uh, the top row stays the same. So I'm just going to write that out: one, four, one, zero. And the bottom row is what changes. So we're going to take a R1, the first row, add it to row 2 to get this guy. Uh, so that's going to be 0. Uh, 4 plus negative 3 is going to be 1. And then 1 plus 0 is going to be 1. And 0 plus 1 is going to stay 1. Okay, so you see how the these numbers over here are just kind of along for the ride. Um, next, uh, in order to make this reduced row echelon form, I would have to make this into a zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this row right here, this one, by negative four, and then add it to the top row to uh, make that a zero. Uh, so let me write down what's not changing. Uh, the bottom row is not changing this time, so I'm going to write zero, one, 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 dot, 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 dot. All those ones are really close together. And for my top row, I'm going to take row 2, multiply it by negative 4, and add it to row 1. That's going to give me my new row right here. So that's going to be, oh, perfect. 0 times negative 4 is 0. I add it to 1. I, I keep 1. Uh, 1 times negative 4, add that to 4. We get 0. Uh, neg 1 times negative 4, negative 4. I add that to 1. I get negative 3. And then uh, 1 times negative 4 added to 0 is negative 4. Perfect. So right here is the reduced row echelon form, and here is our inverse. And so we can write A inverse equals negative 3, negative 4, 1, 1. And you can test this. Uh, if you watch the other video, then you know that um, if I multiply the matrix times its inverse, it will equal the identity matrix. So let's try that. Let's multiply our original matrix 1, negative 1, 4, negative 3, that's A, times our inverse matrix negative 3, negative 4, 1, and 1. That's the inverse matrix. Okay, let's see what we get. <clears throat> so we go uh, 1 times negative 3, which would be negative 3, and we're going to add that to uh, 4 times 1. So we get um, 4. Don't forget, we go we go over with this one, we go top to bottom with this one. And so then we go negative 1 times negative 3, which would be ne uh, positive 3, plus negative 3 times 1, which would be negative 3, so I add a negative 3 to this. And then the other part of my matrix, uh, I go 1 times negative 4, second column plus uh, 4 times 1, which is 4. Perfect, it's a 0. All right, and then uh, negative 1 times negative 4, which is uh, positive 4. And negative 3 times positive 1, 
which is negative 3. Awesome. So now check this out. Uh, if, I, if I simplify all this, this one right here, negative 3 and 4 is 1. This one right here, 3 and negative 3 is 0. This one right here uh, adds to 0. And this one right here adds to 1. And that is our identity matrix. So it works. Smiley face. This actually is the inverse of the matrix. Now, not every every matrix has uh, an inverse. This one works out nice, but you know, just so you know, for the future, you try to find the inverse of another matrix. Uh, if it doesn't work, it's because it doesn't have an inverse. And also, another thing to note is the only matrices that have inverses are square matrices. That's like a two by two matrix, or a three by three matrix, or a four by four matrix. 5x5 five five matrix. Okay, I think you get the picture. They have to be square matrices in order for them to have an inverse matrix. Alright, hope that helps. Um, the next video I'm going to do a, a bigger matrix, a 3x3. Three three. You'll know, find the inverse of that one with some row operations. And uh, I think I'm going to show you one other thing on that video too, but it should be, it should be less than, uh, I don't know, 8 minutes. Alright, hope that helps.